demands today in the decades-old murder of Emmett Till here in the Delta. Today, protesters took to the steps of the Floyd County Courthouse as the Delta News tracked down a relative of the woman. Delta News reporter Dennis Turner shows us why the protesters say they'll never give up. Protesters said a few weeks ago they would not let the Emmett Till case die after the discovery of a warrant for Mrs. Carolyn Bryant. They proved it today by returning to the LaFleur County Courthouse. Bryant, of course, has always stood at the center of this case as the woman Till supposedly whistled at. Arrest her! Just Johnson, who moved back to Mississippi from St. Louis, says... ...needs closure more than many, many others. To her, closure means seeing Carolyn Bryant Dunham in a courtroom with this recently revealed 1955 warrant for her arrest finally served. I hope it leads to her arrest and her conviction because she was part of it and she needs to be taken down. A warrant, a warrant do not expire. Go serve her and take her. So she came to this protest at the LaFleur County Courthouse to hear a cousin of Emmett Till call out District Attorney Wayne Richardson and Attorney General Lynn Fitch for sitting on their hands in this most high profile of murders. Carolyn Bryant never was intended to be arrested. That's right. It shows the corruption here that Mississippi still stands whole task to. Among the proof she offers, this incontrovertible fact. The day of the, the trial of J.W. Madeline and Roy Bryant. Carolyn Bryant said in that trial, she still was not arrested. So the state of Mississippi did not intend to arrest Carolyn Bryant. Pictures put Bryant in the courtroom at the time. But what about the prosecution now? What about Carolyn Bryant at this age? Well, what about Emmett at 14? That's right. What about Emmett at 14? What about it? The protesters intended to go knocking on doors to find Bryant. We didn't see them in this neighborhood. Where a woman identifying herself as Bryant's daughter-in-law said she hadn't seen her, but said, I can tell you, she's in North Carolina. No matter where she is, Johnson and the others say justice for one is justice for all. What would they do to me if I had a warrant? They would lock me up. Folks here say they will not stop protesting. They will march in the streets to get closure in this case that they say they deserve. In Greenwood, Dennis Turner, The Delta News. It should point out that activists reject Mississippi Attorney General Lynn Fitch's response that there isn't enough evidence to prosecute uh, Carolyn Bryant Donham, the white woman at the center of the Emmett Till case. The group is pressing a Delta District Attorney to carry out a recently discovered arrest warrant, and they're enlisting younger people to continue the effort. The Delta News' Keena Butts has much more from Greenwood. We have to have young people out here. Mm. It was young people who had it sneaky. It was young people who had it caught. Many activists gathered outside of Greenwood's courthouse today to demand justice for Till again. But there was a generation missing, and activists believe it's rooted in a broader injustice. Not even realizing that there's a connection between themselves and Emmett Till. Because injustice, the injustices have perpetuated a system, a whole societal culture. A culture many of the activists say has whitewashed education by minimizing the importance of the history of black people. Also, Brother Muhammad and others think Teal's death applies to the young people because young blacks are still dying. It started with Emmett Till. It started with Emmett Till. Representative Teal's family showed up in solidarity and activists hope the younger generation will join as they do grassroots organizing throughout the county. We're demanding justice, and what comes next is the or else. So it's justice or Sakina Butts, Delta News. Now, the group also carried their demands to Leland. We'll have that report for you 